Now, one area that this channel has paid a lot of attention to in recent months and weeks for that matter is fairway woods and there are two models in particular from the 2023 lineups that have particularly caught my eye so today we're going to look at two clubs one from callaway paradigm lineup and the second from ping g430 they have exactly the same loft but like in many videos i've done in recent days well, they perform very very differently And we'll kick things off with the Callaway Paradigm. I really do, do still struggle to say that. It is, in fact, their five wood. It's from the standard lineup, and I'm just glancing down. It's got 18 degrees aloft. Just remember that before we switch in to the G430, and I'll hit a tee, a shot from the same tee position. And that there is from that Ping G430. Interesting ball flight, definitely a more powerful strike from the G430. In that case, they are very, very different in a multitude of ways. But the one thing that is exactly the same, at least right now, is that they share the same loft. So the ping standard loft on the 5 wood is also 18 degrees. So it's perhaps worth just stopping first of all on that first fairway. The fact is the balls weren't separated very much in terms of uh, where they landed on the fairway and perhaps only five yards to separate them in terms of the distance covered. But they definitely got there in a different way in terms of ball flight. The low spinning version of this paradigm also managed to get it to kick on a bit, whereas uh, the ball a bit further on down the fairway, which you can't quite see right now, was that of the Ping G430, which was all carry. Well, this has nothing to do with the club in question in uh, the review we're filming right now, but I can't not play into this hole. It's a stunning hole here at La Hacienda. I played it in uh, earlier on today in another review. I use the same club, which if you're interested, is a five hybrid G430 lineup. Right, concentrate on this wind is coming off the left. It's not an easy one. Oh, I played that. Come on, bit more breeze. Bit more breeze and a kick. I'm not enough of a kick and not enough of a turn. I thought I really controlled that well. How good is that as a, uh, as a golf hole? Well, what a backdrop. We're going to have an interesting bunker shot. Now, I think these clubs are very much aimed at different golfers looking for different things. But one thing we can't go past is that, uh, well, aesthetically, they are very different. So before you go any further, you've got to like what you see at address. And like I said, they're very much chalk and cheese. There's this new look on Paradigm of this kind of like blue gloss back end with the gray sort of fatter line that uh, wraps around the face and the, um, the crown of the club. I'm not a big fan of the looks of it. I've got to admit it's been something that does, doesn't sit on my eye too well. And the complete opposite of my opinion the G430, which is that matte crown, very simplistic. It's got the sort of checkered crown look at the back end. Some nice score lines. Again, I mention this on every video that really frame and center the ball at address. There's also a noticeable difference in terms of head size. I'm not too sure what they sort of measure up at, but the, um, the Paradigm seems a slightly smaller, more chunkier profile, and the G430 is a more squashed down, shallower type of uh, club fairway wood at address. So that's a big decision you've got to make because, like I said, they couldn't be any different. The next thing you've got to look at is sound. I'll play these two shots over for you now so you can have another listen to what we hit earlier. I don't know whether you can pick it up, but um, it's, it's an interesting one because, once again, it's a, the, the sound of Paradigm, particularly in this fairway wood, is a little bit harsh, more in line with what we've seen from the Ping G lineup in the past. And again, I wouldn't say either of them are exactly what I'd be looking for acoustically. Right, you'll notice this ball has been placed down rather than on a tee because we've played one from the tee. Let's see what they do from the fairway, or at least from a bare lie. Well, you just see again that pickup. It's, I mean, that thing's gone for miles. That's a G430, by the way. Like I said, from an acoustic perspective, they, they, they've, they've done a great job. They've improved things, but they've still got that sort of uh, harsher sound. So we'll go straight up into Paradigm and see what this thing does off that exact same lie. What will this do in terms of ball flight, first of all? 
Well, that's a slightly higher launching ball, and in that case for me, certainly found the middle of the club, hit two really solid balls there. From a sound perspective, I'd lean more towards that paradigm, if I'm honest with you, because when you put two clubs side by side, although I've said the G430 or the G line up full stop in terms of ping has improved in terms of its harsh, hard sound that it had on previous models. When you put it side by side along something else, and I've got to say, perhaps from a sound perspective, I'd lean towards the paradigm. What I'm trying to do in this video is highlight all the differences that I can find, and we've still not got to the key one that I think is going to divide these things or your decision at least quite considerably. That's got to kick in a, a fair old bit, and that's down the left hand side. Come on, kick. Well, it's not done a bad job, but that was certainly a little bit too far down that left hand side. We left in sort of 155 off those two five woods again. Pretty interesting ball flight in the way they got here and uh, they certainly are different and that's bore out in dry ball data which I'm going to look at now. What you'll see is and what I've seen throughout all the testing I've done in the G430 lineup is their whole thing seems to be a focused on assistance with launch because virtually every club I have played has popped the ball up extremely high and if you compare that to the paradigm numbers you'll see the launch angle is totally different. Then go straight to the other end really an overall carry and you'll see that the paradigm is the longer of the two clubs by quite a margin when you consider they're set at exactly the same loft. And again, everything I've tested with paradigm has been about ball speed and about keeping spin down to a controllable number. So they're very different in terms of dry ball data and I can confirm they're very different in terms of what I've seen out here on the golf course as well. But we've still got that factor to consider is what have Ping done so different that gives them the massive heads up. You know, some of these locations of the pins are almost impossible. Sit down ball. Do you know what, as daft as it sounds, I'd almost take it. I was another little dink with our hybrid, which I've been uh, well enjoying this morning, but back to the five woods and that change. Well, it's the same change that you can see in the Ping G430 lineup full stop of hybrids and fairways. So uh, this club will do. It's that thing there, it's adjustability. And what's interesting for me is the three woods are adjustable in the standard paradigm lineup, but then it ends. No adjustability in the five wood. And I think that's a real uh, error. And I think it's where Ping gain a uh, big jump, big leap in terms of performance benefits because I said it in the hybrid reviews when I looked at Stealth as well, where they had no adjustabilities. What Ping are offering here is something for you to fit voids, yardages, whatever you want to call them, in your bag at a real difficult part in your bag as well. So where your club becomes one dimensional, right now I've got a five wood in paradigm, it's 18 degrees, I hit it, whatever yardage I hit it, that's it, end of story, I can't do any more with it. Whereas with the G430, I can use it at its standard 18 degrees, but if that doesn't fit, I can make that adjustment and I can start to tweak that loft and considerable whether that I want the ball to go longer or in fact I want it to go shorter, whether I want to pop the ball up higher or whether I want to try and get that one with a slightly different ball flight. So that's so much more versatility in that G430 club that to me, that in itself is uh, makes it a winner. Okay, so here are two more shots just to finish off and really just reiterate the point of what we've seen throughout and that's the G430 launches the ball higher than that of the Paradigm even though they're exactly the same loft. But I've got to say, either one, again, I'd have been very happy with the results in terms of where it finished on the fairway. Interestingly enough, the G430 just uh, carried that little bit further which was an interesting one on this occasion. But I said that there's a reason why there's a clear winner and I think for me there's a clear winner because of the adjustability is a key factor because I still believe that by not having it in the paradigm then they've missed a trick and effectively short change because that ability to make those changes in uh, whether it be loft because you want a higher launch or whether you want to carry a longer distance or shorter distance change the ball flight up that's a significant addition and especially when you're paying such a lot of money to not have that adjustability in I think, like I said, is a bit of a poor move in terms of Callaway on the Paradigm. That said, if this standard 18 degree Paradigm 5 wood fits the bill in terms of the number you're looking to cover, 
it's performed incredibly well. I can't knock performance of either of those, but like I said, they do it very, very differently. And then there is that aesthetics bit. You have got to particularly address like what you're seeing and uh, they need to inspire confidence. So for me, I would be in that G430 camp. What they've done this year with that range is they've concentrated very much on launch. Um, they've concentrated as ever with Ping's lineup of forgiveness and no real great compromise in terms of ball speeds and distance carried and all the rest of it. So I think they've got a real good lineup on their hands and visually it looks really good at an address. So uh, yeah, well done Ping and Paradigm, great product, but missed a trick in terms of that adjustability in my opinion. But they're only my thoughts and they're only some guidelines and point you some tips in the right direction to what you might be looking at. So let me know how you get on if you go out there and give either of these a go. They're gonna come at a hefty price tag, so that's another thing that no doubt you will consider. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. I am just about finished for the day here at La Hacienda. It's been a stunning day, stunning golf course, and we'll be back here tomorrow to film some more. So I'll see you tomorrow night.